Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Gofa Nelungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanelungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll do it for you. We've got a second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. You can hit the subscribe and enjoy our weekly content. We've got a podcast called Diving In with Funny and Jesse. And we have some great conversations going on. You guys don't want to miss out. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, this channel, or our second YouTube channel for the visual. And you can check out our Patreon for free to become members and we'll appreciate. A big shout out to the person that suggested this and everyone that keeps um subscribed been to our channel and has already subscribed. So today we're going to be reacting to the signs signs of the last hour end time series part two. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. The Quran said 14 and a half centuries ago that hour has come close the hour is nigh judgment is near the hour has come close the moon has split قال سبحانه اقترب للناس حسابهم وهم في غفلة معرضون The reckoning of man has come near They said when is the, when is the hour He said عسى أن يكون قريبا It might be very close The hour is close And everyone is accountable for his own deeds The Rasul said كيف أنعم وقد التقم صاحب القرن القرن وحنى جبهته وأصغى سمعه ينتظر أن يؤمر فينفخ How can I relax? And the owner of the trumpet, the custodian of the trumpet has lifted it to his mouth and he has put the focus of his hearing focused, attentive When will the Lord decree that I blow the trumpet? And when it comes, it is a sudden event. The hadith state that a textile worker will have the cloth and scissors and he wants to cut it and the trumpet blows. It's a sudden one. But before its advent, the prophet told us the signs will appear. You know, like you want to travel from here to Bunbury, you go on the road and it says 200 kilometers Bunbury. And then it says 150 kilometers Bunbury. And then it says 100 Bunbury. It's supposed to give you an idea of the proximity. So the Rasul gave us signs that when these come to pass, know that the hour is close. And subhanallah, both major signs and minor signs, big signs and small signs. And the, the small signs, multiple. The small signs, the scholars say, is almost done. There's just a few left. Then comes the big signs. How will they come? Al-amarat, ay alamat, kharazatun manzumatun fi silk. Fa in yaqta'i silko yatba'u ba'duha ba'da. They are like beads on a necklace. When it gets cut, they will follow one after the other. The Dajjal comes. After the Dajjal, in the year, Masih comes, Isa alayhi salam. Ya Juj and Majuj come. The sun rises from the west. خصف بالمشرق وخصف بالمغرب وخصف في جزيرة العرب A landslide in the east, a landslide in the west and one in the Arab Peninsula A fire that will start from Yemen The major signs is what we're waiting for And when they pass When Allah Rabbul Izzah wishes and understand That no one knows when judgment will come قال سبحانه إن الله عنده 
ilmu saa it is a possessive pronoun with me alone is the knowledge of the hour understand no one knows when qiyamah will come no one knows where they're gonna die and when they're gonna die you know they tell me my grandmother said when this clock hits here i will die and she died i said she's lying no one knows when they're gonna die coincidence happen grandmother say every two days i'm gonna die and once she gets it right khalas no 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 one knows do they wait for anything other than the hour to come to them suddenly for its signs have certainly come look at what allah azza wa jalla said faqad ja no he didn't say even ja he said faqad ja certainly the signs of the hour have already come fa anna lahum idha ja'athum dhikrahum so how will they be able to do anything I and mean, how will they be able to remember allah how will they be able to turn to allah if what has been yani if this thing that has been reminded to them when it comes we know that some of the signs of the hour once they come you will not be able to believe after that meaning you will not be able if a person is not a muslim they will not be able to change to islam after that as allah azza wa jalla said at the end of surah al-an'am ayah number 158 يَوْمَ يَأْتِي بَعْضُ آيَاتِ رَبِّكْ لَا يَنْفَعُ نَفْسًا إِيمَانُهَا لَمْ تَكُنْ آمَنَتْ مِنْ قَبْلُ أَوْ كَسَبَتْ فِي إِيمَانِهَا خَيْرًا On the day when some of the signs of your Lord will come, it will not benefit a soul to have believed if it had not believed before or earned some good through its iman. And there will come a sign Many of the scholars said it is the rising of the sun from the west. After that happens, the door to Islam is closed. And there is no way to become a Muslim after that. The door to Islam is closed. That Allah Azza wa Jalla will not accept the shahada from the after that time. But this issue is serious, it's severe. It's a serious issue. It's not a light issue, it's a big issue that a person might run out of time. they might say i'm going to change i'm going to be better i'm going to start doing the things i want to do and then the major sign may come upon them and nothing is accepted from them minor signs precede the day of judgment by a long time meaning they don't happen all of them immediately at the time of the day of judgment they come over a long period of time so minor signs happen over a prolonged period of time that's the first thing some of them will happen near to the day of judgment some of them will happen very far from the day of judgment they don't come like a minor sign comes and then the day of judgment comes next they are spread out and the second thing is that they are normal events in other words they are not supernatural or miraculous events like so you're not going to see like the sun change direction or something come down from the heavens or you know like a, a beast come out of the earth they are generally from the uh the things which are within the laws of the universe to happen they don't break the laws of the universe they don't break the physical laws of the universe such as the loss of knowledge through the death of the scholars the appearance of ignorance drinking alcohol building tall buildings these are things that are within the the laws of the the physical laws of the universe and they are things that don't happen like people will drink alcohol then the then the day of judgment will come rather this will increase over time it will happen over a prolonged period of time and it will be something which doesn't go against the physical laws of the universe some of them will happen before the major signs and some of them will happen with the major signs 
So one of the mistakes people have is they believe that the minor signs will all happen before the major signs. And that's not correct. Rather, some of the minor signs will happen in between the major signs. Uh, so it's not the case that all of the minor signs come, then all of the major signs come. The minor signs are split all the way from the coming of the Prophet wasallam until the coming of the hour. The minor signs are spread all the way through. As for the major signs, the first difference is they are huge events. They are like really huge, huge events. They generally break the laws of the universe. Yani they, they are like, like miraculous or supernatural in nature. And they don't, it's not like just, you know, like there is something, you know, for example, the Dajjal. The Dajjal will come and he will come with, yeah, and he be able to command the sky and, and the sky will, will, will rain upon a people and command the earth and it will bring out its treasures and so so it's a, it's, a, it's a miraculous supernatural kind of sign it's not something that is like or people will drink alcohol it's outside of the normal physical laws of the universe and they will happen together close to the hour so the first one is the appearance of the Dajjal and then they will follow each other in quick succession until the fire which is the last one the fire that will gather the people to their final resting place and then the hour will come so they are very close together and they are they come one after the other and they finish with the day of judgment so these are differences between the major signs and the minor signs. And some of the ulama, they looked at it from a different angle. They said we can divide the signs of the hour into three things. Signs that have come and gone. Signs that have come and gone. And signs that have come and are still going on. And things that have not yet happened. And both of these are not contradictory, you can use them both together. There are signs that have happened and gone, like the death of the Prophet ﷺ. This sign has come and gone. And then there are signs that have come and are only increasing, like the appearance of trials and tribulations. Every year that goes by, the trials and every decade and every generation, the trials become worse than the trials of the past. And the building of tall buildings, the buildings are getting taller. It's not come and gone, it's come and it's getting more. And then there are ones that have not yet appeared, like the Dajjal and the beast that will come out from the earth and speak to the people and so on and so forth. interesting video nothing can ever come at once and if you're waiting for some sort of signs or to sit here and say you haven't seen signs then you're very very ignorant you have to sit down and analyze how things are just don't look at things from the confines of your home just because nothing is affecting you think nothing is happening though there's a lot of things that are happening in the world land is splitting not landslides but land actually splitting up um floods everywhere look at what happened in mozambique the previous year i think that was out of this world and still happening in a lot of parts of the world there's fires that's just that are just outrageous so many things it's up to us to open our eyes to these things that are happening in our world or else will forever be blinded by i don't even know what people do for them not to notice all these things otherwise this is just an amazing video reminding us that no one actually knows how the last hour is going to be like or how when it's going to approach whatever the case is but then they're reminding us of the signs 
some sort of sign that you may at least expect or should be aware of otherwise very interesting video a big shout out to the person that suggested this make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video